Okay, so let's have this topic. So the vertical and horizontal asymptotes of irrational functions. So we have this given rational function and to find the vertical asymptotes. So first, we just need to equate this denominator to zero. So we have 3x minus 4 equals zero. Then to solve for x, so transpose this negative 4. So 3x equals positive 4. Then divide both sides by positive 3 to solve for x. So x is equal to 4 over 3. So this one is the vertical asymptotes. And to find this horizontal asymptotes, so we just need to check the degree of the numerator and the degree of the denominator. Since in the given, the degree of the numerator is equal to 1 and the degree of this denominator is also equal to 1. So if the degree of the numerator is equal to the degree of the denominator, then the vertical asymptote is the ratio of their numerical coefficient. So therefore, for the horizontal asymptote, y is equal to 2 over 3. So this one is the horizontal asymptote. Then for this rational function, so to solve for the vertical asymptotes, so again, we just need to equate this uh, denominator to 0. Then to solve for x, take the square root. So x is equal to 0. So this one is the vertical asymptotes. Then to solve for this horizontal asymptotes, so check the degree of the numerator and the degree of the denominator. So for the numerator, the degree of this numerator that's equal to 1 and the degree of this denominator that's equal to 2. So in this case, if the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator, then the horizontal asymptotes is equal to 0. So therefore, y is equal to 0 is the horizontal asymptotes. Then for this given, so to solve for the vertical asymptotes, so again, we just need to equate this denominator to 0. So we have x squared minus 4 equals 0. Then to solve for x, so transpose this negative 4. So x squared equals positive 4. Then take the square root to solve for x. So x is equal to positive and negative 2. So the vertical asymptotes is positive 2 and negative 2. And to solve for the horizontal asymptotes, so for the degree of the numerator, that's equal to 2. And the degree of this denominator is also equal to 2. So if the degree of the numerator is equal to the degree of the denominator, then the horizontal asymptote is the ratio of their numerical coefficient. So therefore, y is equal to 1 over 1, or y is equal to positive 1. So this one is the horizontal asymptotes. Then for this given, so to solve for the vertical asymptotes, so equate this denominator to 0, then equals 0. Then to solve for x, transpose this positive 1, so x is equal to negative 1. So this one is the vertical asymptotes. And for the horizontal asymptotes, so for the degree of this numerator, that's equal to 3 and the degree of this denominator that's equal to 1. So if the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator, so therefore this rational function has no horizontal asymptotes.
So therefore, in this case, since the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of this denominator, so therefore, there is no horizontal asymptotes. Then for this given, so again, for the vertical asymptotes, so equate this denominator to 0, so we have x squared plus x minus 6, then equals 0. Since this one is a quadratic equation, so we're going to use the factoring. So we have x and x and factors of negative 6. So since negative, so 1 is positive and 1 is negative. And since the middle term is positive x, so therefore the factors of negative 6, that's positive 3 and negative 2. Because 3 minus 2, that's equal to positive 1. And that's the middle term. So this one is positive 3 and this one is negative 2. Since in the denominator, we have this x positive 3. And in the numerator, we have this also x positive 3. So therefore, we can cancel out this x plus 3. So in this case, we have now x minus 2 equals 0. And to solve for x, transpose this negative 2. So x is equal to positive 2. So this one is the vertical asymptotes. Then for this horizontal asymptote, so just check the degree of the numerator. So the degree of this numerator, that's equal to 1. And the degree of this denominator, that's equal to 2. So if the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator, then the horizontal asymptote is equal to 0. So therefore, for the horizontal asymptotes, so y is equal to 0.